Pakistan remains one of the most dangerous countries for journalists. Besides fatal attacks, they face threats such as kidnappings and forced disappearances, imprisonment and torture. In a presser on World Press Freedom Day on Tuesday, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said restrictions on freedom of expression undermine Pakistan's image and its ability to progress. He underlined that U.S. takes up the issue with Pakistan at regular intervals. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Tuesday said that restrictions on freedom of expression undermine Pakistan's image and its ability to progress. Speaking at a news conference organized by Washington Foreign Press Center on World Press Freedom Day, Blinken said that the U.S. government was aware of the restrictions imposed on media outlets and civil society in Pakistan and highlighted this issue with his Pakistani counterpart. He was responding to a question by a Pakistani journalist over Pakistan being among those countries in the world still considered the most dangerous place for journalists. And of course, we're aware of significant restrictions on media outlets uh, and civil society more broadly in Pakistan. Uh, here again, a vibrant free press uh, and informed citizenry are, are key for any nation and its future, including, including Pakistan. And I think these practices that we see undermine freedom of expression, they undermine peaceful assembly, uh, they undermine uh, Pakistan's image, uh, as well as its ability to, uh, to progress. So it is something that comes up both in our uh, direct engagements and in the work that we're doing every day. Global media watchdog Reporters Without Borders in its latest report showed that Pakistan slid from 145th position last year to 157th this year on the World Press Freedom Index. According to the International Federation of Journalists, Pakistan has been ranked the fifth most dangerous place for practice of journalism. Last year, many Pakistani journalists were killed, kidnapped and tortured for exposing crime and corruption and criticizing some of the government policies.